This is Phil Chandler. I'm just going to show you how you can do a quick and easy check on a top bar hive. And here is a hive that's been here for a couple of months. It's not a particularly big one, but as you can see, the bees are busy coming in and out of the entrance, foraging as they should be. And if I just gently move this end follower board away, you can see inside. You can see that the bees are busy doing their thing and very placid and happy and content. Now I'm just going to move, take away this top bar here so we can see a bit more clearly. And you can see the bees are active there. In, you can see if you look carefully that these bees are actually building comb. They've got their, their joining hands and legs together, as it were, um, in little daisy chains to get themselves generating wax for building comb. So I'm not going to disturb this end any further. Let's put the top bar back in, put the follower back. Be careful not to squash any bees, that one's back in. The entrance is busy as we would expect at this time of year. Uh, just moved the follower board away and uh, brought one of the top bars with it. If I hold that up you can see they just started to build tiny comb on that bar and there I'm using wooden guides on these bars and that seems to be quite a reliable way of keeping them in a straight line. As you can see from the next comb, if I gently remove it, they've built a nice straight comb on the guides. And on the next comb there, you can see they've got quite a lot of stores and further down there, there's quite a lot of brood. So I'm quite happy that these bees are doing fine. So I'm going to close them up and let them get on with it. So, If they are reluctant to get the heads down, I use a water spray. This one here is a, a pump-up spray, so you pump it a few times and then all you've got to do is operate this trigger and it uh, sprays a fine mist of water which is just enough to let the bees know that it's raining outside and they really ought to go in and normally I use both hands for this but obviously I've got the camera in one of them and I've actually got one on my arm here which may or may not sting me I don't think it's going to, it's just a bit a little bit annoyed at me but I don't think it's quite annoyed enough to sting me so I'm just going to get it off the uh, off my arm. There we go. There we go. Just let them know it's raining, and they'll get their heads down. No need for smoke. I don't like using smoke in hives. I think it causes the bees undue distress. It makes the hive smell. Bees don't like the smell of smoke, which is why they respond to it as a uh, in an emergency way. So. If I can avoid using it, I do. And I'm going to have to put the camera down to, uh, to close this up finally because I've got bees just in the way there and I don't want to put too much water on them. So, so a very, very quick and easy check. It's not a thorough inspection, of course, but we know that there's brood, we know that there's stores. Uh, we can see from the entrance that the bees are doing what they should be doing, which is foraging. And so we have no reason to 
go any deeper into this hive at the <laughs> moment. If we could see external symptoms of problems, then we might take a closer look. But on this occasion, that will do for time being.